Hey guys, uh, I know this isn't my normal type of video and we're in the middle of a convention series right now, but I really wanted to take some time and make this extra video to talk a little bit about Akira Toriyama. For those of you who don't know, which you all probably know by now if you're seeing this video, I'm sure, Akira Toriyama, creator of Dragon Ball, best known for creating Dragon Ball, passed away on March 1st, about a week ago now. Uh, though they just recently announced it. This comes as a bit of a shock to me and I'm sure to most people as he was only 68, which seems pretty young to just suddenly pass away. But uh, apparently he died from acute subdural hematoma, which I looked into a little bit because I'd never heard of it before. It's like bleeding between the brain and the skull. It says that it's typically caused from head damage, so I have no idea what happened. Uh, it seems pretty sudden but the details aren't available so either way it's definitely a shock um but actually i wanted to make this video not to talk about his death but i just wanted to talk a little bit about him and thank akira toriyama even though he'll never hear it for what he did in his life and what he created because i truly don't think I would be doing almost anything that I do today without Akira Toriyama. His influence is extremely profound and can be felt everywhere in my life, at least. Um, obviously, if you're a fan of anime, even if it's not Dragon Ball, uh, Akira Toriyama influenced anime and manga in a way that not many other mangaka have. Uh, it's really hard to understate just how influential he was, whether you were into Dragon Ball or not. He's kind of a big deal. Now, personally for myself, I haven't been as into uh, Dragon Ball recently. I, I watched Super, but I kind of fell out of it. Uh, it wasn't my favorite, but I, of course, love the original Dragon Ball manga going through Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. I even really like uh, the stuff he did on GT. I know he mostly didn't work on GT, but he did design some of the coolest characters in GT, especially Super Saiyan 4, uh, which his designs are just iconic without a doubt. But even, yeah, looking past Dragon Ball, just the things he influenced. If you're a fan of Naruto, if you're a fan of One Piece, and of course these are the big ones, but if you're a fan of pretty much any battle anime or manga and not just battle anime or manga uh, adventure as well and i'm sure so many other places that i can't even imagine where he definitely had an influence everyone in the industry knows who akira toriyama is and even if they somehow didn't they knew of someone and some work that was inspired by him i guarantee anything you're into in this uh, realm can probably be traced back in some way to inspiration from akira toriyama but beyond Dragon Ball, he's also influential in designing things like Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, two of the biggest video games ever created, which have also had huge impacts on the industry throughout the years. But for myself personally, I wanted to mention those of you who know the kind of content I make and the things that I do, I'm really big on anime, anime conventions, video games. Obviously, that was completely inspired by Akira Toriyama. I grew up watching Dragon Ball. Other than maybe Pokemon, it was the first anime I ever watched. and It was the first one where I eventually learned that it was made from Japan and it was an anime and there's something different about this one. You know, you know how it goes. So without Dragon Ball, I can almost guarantee I wouldn't be into the world of anime as it wouldn't even be the same as it is now. My favorite anime is One Piece. And One Piece is massively influenced by Akira Toriyama's work. I don't even know if One Piece would exist without Akira Toriyama. Uh, it's hard to say, but definitely not in the exact same form that it does now, I'm sure. But beyond just being into anime and things like that, of course, all of this also inspired me to eventually study Japanese and to be more interested in going to other countries. I'm a huge traveler as well. I've lived in other countries. Uh, my life sort of, other than with anime and things, kind of revolves around travel and adventure. I think this can also all be traced back to Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is a super influential adventure manga, which definitely put the seeds of adventure in my head, uh, as well as inspiring One Piece, like I mentioned, and other adventure manga and anime that absolutely had a huge impact on me and what I was interested in uh, growing up and moving forward. 
as well as just getting into anime because of this manga, uh, introduced me to Japanese culture, uh, which made me again more interested. I mean, the the very first thing that got me interested in traveling at all was looking up videos of Japan. And then I got on a binge watching videos of people traveling in Japan and then followed through those people's channels and saw other countries that I became interested in. And none of that would have happened if I wasn't already interested in Japan due to anime and manga due to Dragon Ball. Which also leads me to the other big thing that I do in my life, which is teaching English. I'm an English teacher, uh, and I really love it. It's definitely a passion of mine, and um, I think that can easily be traced back to Akira Toriyama as well. I mean, going off of the travel aspect, if I didn't travel, if I didn't see more of the world, I wouldn't have been interested in language acquisition to begin with, which means I would have never been interested in teaching English because I only became interested in teaching because I knew I had a love for language acquisition. Literally everything I do in my life can be traced back to influence from Akira Toriyama. So I know you'll never hear it, Akira Toriyama, but I just wanted to thank you for the way you lived your life and for being willing to do something different, especially back then, being a manga artist at the time. I mean, I don't know what things exactly were like in Japan during Akira Toriyama's childhood, but I can't imagine everyone around him was screaming, you've got to make manga, uh, especially back then. It wasn't what it is today, for sure, uh, but he lived his truth and he affected so many people myself included, by doing this. So I'm sorry I've just been rambling in this video, guys, but I really just wanted to put down my initial thoughts and feelings on this because I just found out that he passed away. Thank you guys so much for listening, and thank you again to Akira Toriyama. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay nerdy.